and welcome back to Advanced Cloud Native Go. My name is Leander Reimer and I'm happy to be your host. So this section of the course will be all about service discovery and configuration. And this is what we will learn. First of all, I will introduce console as an infrastructure component for service discovery. And I will show you the basic usage of console. Next up, I will introduce you to the key value store of console and how it can be used as a central configuration server. Then we'll implement a very small microservice and register it programmatically with console. Next up, we'll implement a small client application that will use console to perform service lookups. And finally, we'll implement a pure Kubernetes version of service registration and lookup. So we'll change the microservice and implement discovery and configuration with Kubernetes mechanisms only. So as usual, a lot of ground to cover in this section. We better get started. Using console for microservice discovery. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the following three steps. First of all, we will start and run console using Docker Compose. Next up, we will register some services with console using the REST API. And in the final step, we'll perform a service lookup by using the console UI and also the REST API. So let's get started then. So as usual, I have prepared my development environment. And in here, I've prepared now a Docker Compose file. So what you see here is the required definition to start up console by using Docker Compose. So I create a service definition, I specify the console Docker image, I need to specify the following three ports, I link console to demo microservices, and I link it to a network. And as you see down here, I am using the microservice from the previous section as an example. And we will register this service with console later on. So just here, I fire up the same microservice from the last section on port 8080 and a second time on port 9090. So that's that. So let's open a console. We're in this directory and I can say docker compose up. So let's fire everything up. So you see here console is starting as well as our two microservices. Well, not much here, right? So what we can do now is open up a browser and navigate to the UI of console. And this is console. So you have services, nodes, key values, ACL, and some more function. For now, we're only concerned with the services up here. Currently, only console itself is registered. So what we want to do next is use the REST API of console itself to register a few services. So let's open a REST client. So you see up here, this currently is the URL to access the service catalog. If I do that, you see that we currently only have console registered. This is basically the same as the web UI just showed us. We can also access the services via the agent API. And you see here, you have uh, some more information. So you have an ID, the service name, the address in the port. So, okay, let's register a service for the first microservice. So I'm using the agent service register API and I'm posting the following body. I give it an ID, I give it a name, 
You can specify additional tags. I specify an address and in this case I specify the host name where the, this microservice is running at. So this is GinWeb01, port 8080. And I'm also specifying a life checks. So in this case, I'm calling the ping HTTP endpoint my microservice is offering. Now this is really essential in a cloud native system, right? Because the service registry needs to know if your service is healthy or not. So everything worked out. Status OK. And if we go back, uh huh. See here? If I now query for all the services, I do get the registered service back. So if I go back to the web UI, you see that I now have GinWeb registered. So also everything working here. All right, so let's register an additional service. Now I've registered here the second GinWeb instance. So if we go back here to the web UI, you now see that I have two instances running under the same name. Now if you have a look at the console, you see what's going on here. You see that console is constantly calling the ping URL of service 1 and service 2. So what I can do now in a second window is, for example, say, so I'm stopping one of the containers now. And you should see up here that this one is failing now. Okay? So if we go back to the UI, you see that one of the services became unhealthy. We can also use a REST API to get all information on the health checks. And you see here that this health check is failing. And we can use this passing REST API to only get returned to services where the health is OK can also query for the critical states. Now, of course, using the REST API of console this way is not the way we go from here, right? This is just to demonstrate things, how things work. So later on, we will use an API to register and deregister services instead.